But wait, it's not over yet. Hey guys, this is the Gaming Seed with part 65 of Pokemon Black. And this is the real final part. Because... Gets it says I must be eliminated. Mm -hmm. And yeah, Sharon's confused. And Gets this has lied to everybody. Gets this his real plan was to take over the world, not just liberate Pokemon. And now Gets this will battle you. And Anne is nice enough to heal your Pokemon. Because that would be like really stupid. If I had like a Haxorus with 80 HP and an Ember with 19 HP going into this battle, I would have to like heal it all up and be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is the real final battle, and you are facing Getsis. This is an insanely, insanely tough fight, especially if you're not using Reshiram. One of his Pokemon is like almost impossible to take out if you're not using Reshiram. Is he gonna send it in here? Cause he might. No, he's not. He's going into Buffalant. Hmm. I'm gonna go into Haxorus because I wanna set up. Um. Okay, I'm faster, I know that much. Oh my god, it one-shotted me. What? Are you serious? Alright, time to bring in Ambor. I was gonna see if I could set up on Buffalant. Thinking I could take a head charge. Apparently not. And wait, I was just faster than that thing. What? But anyways, yes, Ember is growing to level 49. Seismitoad is up next. And to be completely honest, this fight isn't really too bad except for that one Pokemon I was talking about earlier. Actually, no, I should have set up a Swords Dance. No, 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 no. I should have set up a Swords Dance for that last Pokemon because I have a super effective move against it. Crap. That was so stupid of me. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The Beast from Hell. And the impossible Pokemon. Hydreigon. Fire Blast, Focus Blast, Dragon Pulse, Surf. It's the only move set I've announced in this like end slash gets this thing. But Yep. That's like exactly what goes down with this thing. It has like moves for almost everything. Especially if you're since you can only have six Pokemon with you at a time. Yep, it's got Surf for Embor, Fire Blast for Leveny, Dragon Pulse for Haxorus. Oh, I just lived to surf. I know I can live one now. Oh, no, no. That's full restore range. Okay, now I, um, I kind of have to get lucky here. That he does, okay, yeah. Okay, if that wasn't max damage, if I can get max damage or a critical right here. Shut up. The one thing that I didn't want to happen, I miss. It's got Fire Blast for this. 
Actually, it doesn't have anything for Sigalif, but all I can do with Sigalif is use Air Slash. Okay, I'm going to be really, really risky here. Of course. He missed. Should have gone for Ice Beam, but... Okay, yeah, I'm screwed. What was I thinking? I thought he would, like, go for Surf or something, like an idiot. And then I could Mirror Coat it back. Um... That was so retarded of me. I should have used Ice Beam f f the first turn. Okay, yeah, whatever. Well, at least I can just max revive on Embor. And I'm pretty sure this guy's supposed to have, like, full, four full restores or something like that. But he never uses them. Like, why? See, it still did that much, and it's, like, not super effective. This, like I said, it's the beast from hell. Well, I kind of have to get lucky with um, Embor and hope my hammer arms hit. Because, well, yeah, I could take a surf, because I know that from experience. Oh, crap again. Miss, miss, miss. Yes! Yes! No! Oh my god, wow, did you see that? We both missed. If I hit, oh my god, that was, that was hacks. That was just hacks. That was just ultra hacks, and this thing's like sweeping me. It doesn't really have anything for Jellicent, but I can't really do anything to Jellicent. Okay, I'm afraid that I can't take a hit, so... I'm gonna do what I did last time, Max Revive, Embor. And after this, we still have two more Pokemon to deal with. We have a Bisharp, and another thing to deal with. I forget what that other thing is called. Actually, I, should, I can max survive somebody else. Okay. Okay, he's got Bisharp left. And... Crap, I forget it. I forgot. Damn it, no. Why? Okay, let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna max survive Haxorus because Haxorus is a good all-arounder. And I'm, all, I'm only using Hammer Arm with him more because he can full restore at any time. Even though he, like, never does. But I'm just saying, he could. Okay, yes, down it goes. And Ambor's level 50 now. It's the first Pokemon... And probably the only get to level 50 in Head Smash. Um, I would learn that, and I would get rid of Strength if it wasn't an HM move. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give up Head Smash. I might, like, learn it later. Like, go to the Heart Scale person or the Mood Tutor person. Oh, yeah, Electros. Switch. And the only other Pokemon I have is Haxorus. But, oh wait, crap, I just remembered, I think this thing has Dragon Claw. Shit. I'm faster, I can deal out some decent damage. Oh my god, he went for Crunch. Does this thing have Dragon Claw? I'm pretty sure it does. And I'm really surprised he didn't go for it. But yeah, down that goes. And Haxor screw level 49. That's um, pretty awesome. Not that I'm going to need it because his last Pokemon is Steel type. Bisharp. Bag. Hyper. Uh, should I predict the metal? Okay, no, I'm not going to predict the metal burst. 
I'm not over predicting in game. Actually, I should have gone for Swords Dance because I didn't know he would go for Night Slash, which I can take. Okay, I've got Ambor left. Gonna hope that I can take a hit. Wait, does this thing have Earthquake? Okay, you know what? Just in... No, not Paralyzed Heals. Just in case... In, am I seriously out of max... Son of a bitch. <laughs> um, like I said, son of a bitch. Uh... Just in case... I'm gonna re-revive Haxorus. Just in case this thing has a ground type. Okay, it's got Stone Edge. Can I take two of those? Please tell me I can take two of those. Yes, I can! Okay, good. And I'm faster than it, what? Okay, not that I'm complaining, but I'm faster. I really thought I wasn't, but I don't care. This is it. That is the end of the walkthrough, guys. I know, it's the end of my first walkthrough. It took me like 10 months, but that's because I had like a huge uploading problem. But... And yeah, I'm just skipping all this dialogue because that is it. That is the end of the walkthrough. I'm not covering the entire after game. I'm probably going to go over a few after game stuff. Or a few after game things like Cynthia, Kyorem. Uh, let's see, Cynthia, Kyorem, the Elite Four rematches, and Alder. That's what I'm going to cover in the after game, but that's it. Now, I'm not going to skip this dialogue part because it's actually pretty meaningful. I want to talk to you about something. It's about when I first met you in Accumula Town. I was shocked when I heard what your Pokemon was saying. I was shocked because that Pokemon said it liked you. It said it wanted to be with you. See, yeah, this is actually really meaningful dialogue, so I'm not going to skip it. I couldn't understand it. I couldn't believe there were Pokemon that liked people. Because up until that moment, I'd never known a Pokemon like that. The longer my journey continued, the more unsure I became. All I kept meeting were Pokemon and people who communicated with one another and helped one another. That was why I needed to confirm my beliefs by battling with you. I wanted to confront you hero to hero. I needed that more than anything. There's no way a person like me, someone who understands only Pokemon, no actually I didn't understand them either. No way could I measure up to you when you, you had met so many Pokemon and were surrounded by friends. The champion has forgiven me and what I should do now is something I'll have to decide for myself. What? You said you had a dream. That dream. Make it come true. Make your wonderful dream a reality and it will become your truth. What? If anyone can, it's you. Well then, farewell. And then the credits scene that we can't show because we're like a minute away from the time limit, so goodbye.